Yes, you should use the ICC profiles that reviewers provide, given you don't have the gear to calibrate and profile your monitor. Now, but what are the benefits of doing so, and can you actually expect a decent color accuracy by using someone else's profile? To answer those questions, I downloaded four different ICC profiles from well-regarded sources, which we will compare to an individual calibration and no calibration at all on the same monitor. I think it's pretty tempting to just go download and use an ICC from the internet. I mean, many of them are free and getting super accurate colors for free without needing to learn anything about calibration and spending 200 bucks on a colorimeter sounds pretty tempting, right? Now, it's not exactly that simple. About a year ago, I already compared a bunch of ICCs on the same monitor to find out which level of accuracy we actually can expect. So this is kind of a part two, or at least an attempt to gather some more data points. This time we'll be using the Alienware AW2721D. It's widely tested, so there are a few ICCs available. But then on the other hand, it's already pretty accurate in its default state, so this might be hard to improve on. Now one major concern when using ICCs that others have created is how different individual units of the same monitor might be. An ICC that's perfect on one monitor might be causing very inaccurate colors on another sample and thus do more harm than good. So how different are the monitors that five different reviewers got? This is the color gamut of my review sample and that's what Hardware Unboxed got, which is extremely similar. Artings got almost the same results as well, with differences so small that they could easily be attributed to different equipment and testing conditions. The unit that TFT Central got shows slightly different results though, but that's still pretty close. But I'm sure that something went completely wrong with this profile. That's the sRGB color gamut and definitely not the color gamut of the Alienware AW2721D. So obviously something went wrong while creating this profile. I've contacted Bijan and I'm sure he will have that sorted out soon. But for now, let's just roll with the defective profile. Because let's face it, there probably are a good amount of people that are unknowingly using a defective ICC profile because those things happen. Just like in my previous video about this topic, where also one of the ICC profiles that I downloaded from a reputable source was defective. But just to be clear, my intention is not to call somebody out or something like that. I just want to inform you guys about how using online ICCs stacks up against individual calibration and profiling. And that some of the ICCs that you find online are actually flawed is just how it is. I actually thought about not telling which profile is which, but then again I wouldn't want anyone to download and use an obviously flawed ICC. Anyway, let's move on and compare the color accuracy we get with sRGB content. Now as a point of reference we got the individual calibration, which without any surprises gives us great results in form of low delta E's, both for the average and for the maximum. Ideally we'd want values lower than 1 for the average and lower than 3 for the maximum and here we are well below that. But for this comparison we'll use a bit more forgiving targets of 1.5 and 4 because those are totally accurate enough for non-professionals. And good news, our three ICC profiles that are non-defective meet these targets. Only the defective profile shows much higher delta E's but that's really no surprise as we're basically using an sRGB profile on a monitor that aims for the much bigger DCI-P3 color gamut. Now it might be tempting to say, well Artings got the best profile so I'm just gonna use that. But that's not how it works. Their profile works best on my particular sample, but there's a good chance that the profile from Hardware Box, for instance, or TFT Central performs better on your specific monitor. So this by all means does not show that one media outlet creates better or worse ICC profiles than the others. Now that being out of the way, how do they stack up against no calibration at all? Well, as we're using a wide gamut monitor, we get pretty inaccurate colors with sRGB content due to oversaturation. Unsurprisingly, that's exactly what we get with the defective profile that has the sRGB color gamut backed in. Because when testing against sRGB, using no profile at all basically is equivalent to using an sRGB profile. 
Now, I already mentioned that the AW2721D aims for the DCI-P3 color gamut and does give us pretty accurate DCI-P3 results right out of the box. So this might be an area where using someone else's profile could hurt our color accuracy. And that's certainly true for the defective profile. We get much worse results than with no profiling at all, so this shows us that it's not always a good idea to use ICCs you find on the internet. Definitely not without being a bit critical. However, all the other profiles give us pretty good results. For DCI-P3, the sample that Hardware Unboxed got seems to be very similar to my unit, so we're managing to stay below both targets. Arting's RCC also leads to a respectable improvement in accuracy, while TFT Central's profile at least doesn't make my monitor worse than using no ICC at all. Now, to get a better estimate on which improvement you can expect on your own monitor, we can take a look at the average performance of the non-defective profiles. And the improvement over not using an ICC certainly does look pretty good, if you ask me. Of course, we are assuming here that you don't end up accidentally using a defective profile. So do these findings change my mind about using Revior's ICC profiles? No, they don't. I will continue to provide them and I still think it's a good idea to be using them if you don't have access to a colorimeter. However, we once again see that this comes with the risk of accidentally using flawed ICCs. Therefore, it's a good idea to download more than one ICC for your monitor and actually compare them. If one looks distinctively different than the others, it's probably flawed. In this case, get rid of that and pick one of those that looks similar to each other. I will link a guide on how to properly install ICC profiles in the video description. I hope this was useful. Bis zum nächsten Video.